Hello there, this is Archbishop Sok Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Lingue de Gupan. Welcome to the Light of Faith. What is our vision for the Church in the Philippines? What kind of church do we want to be? We want to be a church according to the heart of Jesus. We want to be a church according to the will of God. And what is the will of God for us? What is the plan of God for us? First, we want to be a church of the poor. In 1991, at the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines, the bishops, the priests, the religious, and lay leaders gathered together from all over the Philippines and set the direction for the Church in the Philippines. Church of the Poor. Who are the poor? All of us are poor. All of us. Poverty is not just about not having the right food, not having sufficient food, or not having shelter, or not having clothes, or not having money. We are all poor because God alone is our wealth. When we say we want to be a church of the poor, we also want to say we will reach out to the materially poor among us and recognize that they are the real treasures of the church. In the words of Pope Francis himself, we must learn the art of undressing. We must learn the art of simplifying our lives because when we simplify our lives, then there will be abundance to share. When we simplify our lives and bring an end to our avarice, to our greed, then we will have more to share with the poor, with the least and the last and the lost among us. Secondly, we are a church of the young. I say young, not youth. Youth is a sector in society. But young, young is an attitude of the spirit. In the same way that poverty is an attitude of the spirit. Young, young is to be a person of hope, to be a person of vigor, to be a person of enthusiasm, to be a passionate person. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the church in the Philippines is a church of the young. Majority of our population are young people. Majority of our population are from zero to around 35 years old. Young people. We must take care of them. They are the treasures of the church. And ignoring the young is ignoring Christ. Any sin against our young people is a sin against Christ. My dear parents, my dear adults, my dear grandparents, my dear brother priests, it is a crime, it is a crime to make the story of Jesus boring for our young people. The story of Jesus must be an exciting story for our young people. And it is the duty of, our, of us teachers to make sure that the story of Jesus is presented with excitement, with passion, and with vigor. I say it again, it is a sin to make Jesus boring or look boring for our young people. Finally, we are a church of the wounded. We know how it is to fall, and we have fallen many times. It does not matter how many times we fall, what matters is how many times we stand up from where we have fallen because God is rich in mercy. Wounded priests, wounded parents, wounded children, wounded young people, wounded grandparents, all of us are wounded. 
Some of us have been wounded physically, but all of us have been wounded emotionally. All of us have been wounded spiritually. That is why confession is there. That is why the sacrament of reconciliation is there. That is why the mercy of God is there. We are a community of wounded people. We are still saints in the making. Today, let us accept that. We have been blackened by sin, wounded by sin, but we are hopeful because we have been called to be healers even if we have been wounded. We are poor, but we should not apologize for that. Rather say, I am poor and God loves me. I am young. I don't have any experience. I lack experience. I lack education. I lack formation. But say, I am young and God loves me. I am wounded. I have been ugly. I have become ugly because of sin. But I am not ashamed of that because in my woundedness, I am wounded. God loves me. That is the reality, my dear brothers and sisters. The church is poor, the church is young, the church is wounded, and we are loved. Because the church is here not to impose obligations. The church is here not just to give one regulation after another. The church is here not as a watchdog about violations. The church is here to proclaim God loves us because the essence of the church is to tell and retell the story of Jesus. The church is in the business of not telling people what to do, but telling people what God has done for them. Be part of this church. We are poor, but we are loved. We are young and inexperienced, and we are loved. We are wounded, and we are loved. At the end of the day, it is the love of God that will carry us through. Thank you for being with us in the light of faith. Today, I challenge you, love the church, be proud of the church, and walk with one another towards Jesus. God loves you.